Good morning everyone and welcome back. It's not such a great morning here because it is absolutely pouring down out there. Yes they can go, yep that row, that row can go but we are on our last milking for the season this morning. So we're just drying these cows off. I'm going through at the moment and dry cowing the cows that we have selected. I've got my list here so I pulled out all the cows that were over 150 thousand on their last sow count like this one here number 72 so she will get it this one here 227 so I went through yesterday and marked them all see they've got red on them I actually ran out of red so some of them have got blue but I went through the list mark them all it just makes it a little bit easier today it looks like there's only two in this row I see that one's got blue on it there 227 we'll cross her off I've actually done the other herds, the other herds all dried off and I ticked those cows, I'm just putting a dash beside this morning's ones. And the reason I am doing that is because I need to record the dry cow on our records of which cow gets it and that's just the way I've done it I think was the, was the easiest. So these cows that are getting dry cow, this is what it is, it is one tube of dry clocks DC and that one of these tubes goes into each quarter of the cow so they will be getting four tubes and I've filled a bucket up below of hot water and just put that over top so it just warms or it comes through and warms these up and it just makes it a little bit easier to to squeeze them out they're not quite so cold she's done so we can make a start on her it's a little bit hard for you guys to see in the dark but what I need to do so I've got these uh, what are they they are called bacterial wipes so just go through and wipe the teeth in make sure we get all the, the bugs off it we don't want to be catching a bug and putting it up into the teeth because then they'll get mastitis. I want to be nice and clean. It's probably not the best morning to be doing it while it's raining like this, but it just so happened to be and can't really push it to another day. So today is the day. Now, and just squeeze them in. Just like that, easy as, she's a nice quiet cow. It's absolutely bucketing down out there now. Well, what I'm gonna do is put these cows on the feed bag, give them a bit of maize this morning. So they're actually just waiting in the race at the moment then. I'm gonna feed out some straw this afternoon to keep them nice and full. And they're only gonna get one break today. However, this cow here, this is number 150 and she is considered Infected like mastitis wise, she, her cell count her last one was 3.3 million, so it's massively high, it's well above that 150. It wasn't bad last year, she didn't get dry cow last year, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna, I'm gonna give it to her and hopefully it sort of fixes the problem. But I'll be able to see when we herd test first next year. So if it's still high, then she will be a cull cow. But I thought I'll, she was on my cull list, but I'll give her a second chance, we'll try and treat her, and hopefully that will fix the problem. Put a head torch on, so hopefully you guys might be able to see a little bit more. I always have a method, I do the front left, then the front right, then the rear left, and then the rear right. I just do every cow like that. A bit of milk out. Can't quite not open enough. There we go, just in like that. Tube in, all done. We were supposed to get rain today, I just didn't think we'd get quite this much. It is pretty consistent. I actually woke up at midnight and heard it was raining and it's not really nice <laughs> when you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm going to go out on that. Lucky I just remembered too because I've seen her, but this cow here, number 170, she had the positive reaction to that TB test, so I've actually got to draft her out. Nikki's coming at 9.30 to get a sample from her own. It'll take a couple of minutes, but she can just wait in the yard here. So that is all the milking cows done. I've still got to treat four cows over there. Drafted 170 out. Well, these girls need to get up. Come on because I need to get these cows which are just in this calf paddock here out. These are all the cull cows that are going tomorrow. So I'm gonna get them and milk them. There is 19 of them. 
They're actually just going back into the paddock that they had last night and they actually look fairly happy there. So I might leave them in there for a, a wee while. Still got to go and fill up the mix wagon so they'll, they'll be right in there. I'm actually wondering whether I get in to that paddock and drill it. That one and the next one down, 9A and 9, are just, yeah they're real patchy. There's a couple of spots on the hillsides. Come on girls, get up, which are pretty barren. And I'm just wondering whether I could get in there with a more hucker and drill it. I'm just worried it's a little bit late. I'm not worried but I'm a little bit concerned it's just a little bit late but it's warm enough today and I think with a perennial maybe it might be but with more hucker I might be sweet as. Maybe I'll give Casey a call and, and see what she thinks. It's actually a good chance today that I can just go through and check that they've all got their nate tags, get all their numbers down for tomorrow. Well, that's all the dry cow done for another year. Just got to milk these uh, cull cows and then that is season over. Not a very nice day to end the season on, but... Well, it's warm. Yeah, it it's is warm. 13 degrees when I got up, so yeah, grass will be growing today. We don't have a lot of grass at the moment, so this warmth is, is definitely a good thing. Let's have a quick squiz, you've got yours, yep, yep, yep. Where's yours? Yep. She got one. She got one. She got one. Yep. Yep. She didn't actually the other day I put that in. Had to give her a new one. Those two do. Doesn't look like you do, does it? No, 177. Like I've got some spare ones. So it's fairly easy, I just go to my phone and go assign EID, assign EID today, yes, uh, location, my location, animal 177, uh, next. Then it's got a heap of numbers on here, but I want to correspond this one up, so 20, 26, 37, 37, 6, that one. I just typed in the last five numbers and it's come up. So click that. Tag lost. Done. And what I'll try to do is... Where was your last one, girl? I think it was that left ear. So I'll try and stick it through that same hole. Oh, come on, girl. Very nice. Here we go. Through the same hole. Where are you going? Right, that's officially the season over. Done and dusted for another year. Let's go on holiday for a couple of months now. <laughs> yeah, well, we are going away together uh, next month. But what do you think? How do you think the season went? Yeah, you know, look, it was a good season compared to a lot of other years where we haven't been dry at all. Normally we get a, a dry month before and after Christmas. But this yep. year it's just been green the whole time, so it's been a, a good, Season to farm. We did have one dry spell, but it wasn't it wasn't too bad, yeah, and it was yeah. sort of going into February, which if it's that late, then it generally doesn't turn out to be too bad. But yeah, like you say, like it was a good one. It was actually our record year. We oh, we're just waiting on this pickup tonight, but we should get over 105,000 solids. And our oh, last year was our best up until then, which was 102. So we've done 3,000 better. Um, and uh, with less cows too. Yeah, yeah, we, we milked 10, 10 to 12 less cows. I did question you when you wanted to milk less cows, but yeah, it has worked. Mind you, this is, 
this season has been a good season, so that certainly helped it. Yes, but I think we kept condition on the cow. We, we, yep. Our big target through the last winter was getting that condition on the cows, and they were milked better, and it definitely flowed through in the spring. Like the spring wasn't any less hard or, or challenging than the previous year, and they, and they were milking better. So um, there you go. It's just, yeah. I think that straw definitely helped too that we're feeding out. So we're contemplating getting another load for for this season. I think just feeding it out through the winter certainly helps. Definitely around carving. Uh, what we have is a big club golf on Friday. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we tried off because we've got a golf day on Friday. Sow count was a lot better this year too, actually. We only went over 200, I think, maybe a couple of times. Yeah, we still went above last year at times. So, but yeah, we I did. But on, on cows, but. yeah, we did go above last year, but. Um, on a whole we've been well under so I'll have to have a look on my phone and um, see what it is. It's not very easy to see this so I will take a photo and put it on the screen and I don't think this is actually right either. Fonterra have changed their app and uh, it says our cell count last season was 156 but it wasn't it was about 130 something and it says our cell count this says 140 but I don't think that's I don't think that's correct I think it is a little bit less than that. And two seasons ago it was 157. That's not correct either. It was 147. So something's not quite right there. We had this wild cat turn up. And it's a bit of a cow shed cat now. We'll feed it here. I think I'll be able to pat it. Oh! <laughs> Don't bite me, mister. Nah. He's getting friendly. It's taken a while. I just shot down and fed out on the on the feed pad for these cows. I'm gonna wait till this one's had its blood and then let her go, she can go down with them and they can go onto the onto the pad, but far out, this weather is atrocious. I timed it pretty well to be fair though, while I was doing it, it didn't rain, it actually looked like it was kind of clearing, and then I just fed out and it just bucketed down. Hopefully it's not going to last around for too long though. Dad's herd is straight through there, so those are the dry ones, they've been dry about a week now. He's going to pull them out and he's going to bring them back, put them into this calf paddock and there's not a lot of grass in there because those cow cows have been in there but it's just to hold them because where they were going to go this morning it's just not quite right for them so we're gonna we're gonna find another paddock. On a bit of a side note though so I'm actually hosting a bit of a field day here next week on the 23rd we're having a smash event and smash is an acronym for smaller milk and supply herds I think it is so they sort of focus on farms that are about under 300 cows and they have a look at your system and financials and what makes you profitable and successful, I guess you could say. Uh, so there's people coming here next Thursday. If you are in the Waikato area, come along. Or if you're out of it and you want to come anyway, come along. Should be a good day. There's lunch provided. Uh, so you're looking forward to that. It's on the 23rd. And then on the 24th, I've actually booked uh, Oliver's. They're going to come up. They're just going to bring a truck and we are going to send 38 cows down to Mike. So the herd that Dad's bringing up now, I need to bring them in next week. We're going to draft sort of the tail end off them, sort of the lighter cows, 38 of the lighter cows, and they're going to go and start down on the annual down the road there, which should be good. I haven't sent cows off before for winter grazing, but it's just going to give us a chance to conserve a little bit of grass going into carving. Well, that's the idea of it anyway. How much do you need? Bugger well, on. You usually only need up to the bottom label, but the fuller you get them, the better. Yeah. So it's, yeah, so, yeah, so that's a bit different. You need two, yeah? Two. Got oh. two. Yep, there are other ones there. Oh, because I go to two different places, eh? Yeah. Can you chuck that in your pocket? Oh, yeah. Where's that other one? Two more now. Yep. So one goes to, um, Sure, uh, to Albert, uh, the lab and farm and there's another one going somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Well, do you ever get them come back that one's positive and one's negative? No, well, then they'd be a. Yeah, 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 I was gonna say, like they'd both have to be the same. So, yeah. Yeah. so they'd, they'd never come back one pot, or yeah, they'd always be the same. Easy as that. Hopefully we don't hear from Nikki again, because if we don't, then that means everything is all good. We can cut that tag out. Girls have all finished now. 
I had a bit of a faux pas, Dad went through that gate by the hay shed before and I forgot to shut it when I let the cows go and half of them came through into this paddock they're only going up to up to there, I've got half of them up here I caught them before the whole lot went through but yeah, totally my fault However, this is their break for today, so I'm not going to move them again. They're going to stay on here for 24 hours. I got Dad to feed out a bit of straw before. We have been giving the other herd a bit of straw, and I said I will feed it down here under the trees, so then if the weather does turn a bit custard, they'll come and sort of punch down here anyway, and I'm not feeding it out on this nice grass if they do leave a little bit behind. But it's, it's pretty good stuff, so I'd say they'll get into it, or I hope they do, a little bit. Just looking at it now, I'm wondering whether I've given them a little bit too much grass. But I think it'll be alright. It actually it's made quite a big difference once you take that other 20 out, or those 20 culls out. You know, there are quite a few less cows in here. I think they'll be alright. It's not... It is a bit barren up here, plus they've had maize and straw. I just didn't want to... You know, keep them too tight if it, if it was going to be pretty bad weather because they're going to make a heck of a mess. But I think they'll be they'll be sweet as I think I've actually shut them down pretty well this year. All we need is a hundred more solids to get over that hundred and five. Looks like the condensation line's up to about there, so there should be oh maybe three hundred plus solids in there, maybe close to four hundred. So we should definitely get it. Cell count sitting around the two hundred mark. And generally when the cows start dropping in production the cell count keeps going up and you can sort of you can sort of get graded at the end of the season by by it sort of spiking but it's actually not too bad 200 200 is pretty good so it shouldn't go over 400 on on that last pickup hopefully I've just had a phone call from Osborne so they're going to grab these cows at 8:30 in the morning which is good timing I've actually been keeping a little bit of a secret or a surprise and I went and picked up our newest member of our family yesterday. And here she is. This is little Georgia, Georgia Lynn. She came on Mother's Day on Sunday. What do you think, Willie? Another sister? We're a little bit outnumbered now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but she We're just was. just doing a puzzle. You are just doing a puzzle. He's just yeah. finished school. Yeah. She was 10 days late, but she yeah. came out at the big whopping £9.13. So she's the biggest of the four. Yeah. And the final. <laughs> The final piece of the puzzle too, so a little bit of a, a little bit tired over the last couple of days. Ooh la la! But everything is going well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Ooh la la! Give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. And apart from that, see you next time. See you next time.